Uh, I'll be talking something over nano science. I just want to have an introductory uh, uh, introduction to nano science for, for people who are interested. So it started with steam engines, railways, automobiles, and then came computers. So now is the time of nanotechnology. So every, everywhere you go, you'll see nanotechnology in action, some or the other ways. It's affecting the society. Uh, whether you know or you don't know, you must be using something uh, which has a nano-enabled technology in it. Nanoscience is anything to do with small. So, na nanos so just to give you an idea about what, what size is nano, nano is just a way of measuring. So it's like 10 to the power minus 9 uh, units. Here if you see something like an ant and all, it's like too big. And uh, I have given some images where you can compare what is in the nano regime. So a rice grain is too big, it comes under the macro regime. A human hair falls in the micro regime. And then, uh, um, so you keep going down the size, you come into the nano, nano region. Like a scent is like too big for, for, for what is considered as nano. So a better example of nano is like when you are traveling uh, in a plane or somewhere, and you want to look at uh, on Earth, and you want to see a football, and try to find find a very small thread on the, on the football from an aeroplane. Then to, if you go zoom in into that much, then you get to an idea about how nano we are talking about. Like that's the uh, idea of how small things you are talking in terms of uh, nano. Seeing at the nano scale, so once you want to do something at the nano scale, you, you need to see it, you need to maneuver it. So for those, you, you get different kind of tools. So, I'm just giving you a few examples where you can have uh, like an uh, atomic force microscopy, transmission electron microscopy. So what exactly you, uh, I'm not sure if, you, if you'll be aware with those terms, but what is the concept is like when, it, when, you want to, when you want to see something big, you can just touch it and feel it, or you can see it by, through the light. But when you're zooming in so, to a very small size, you might not be able to do those things. So you use a different way of, uh, of uh, seeing it or, uh, or uh, analyzing it. So we use uh, electrons, which are very small, a beam of electrons to see, to see a particle in that uh, uh, like uh, nano re regime. So we can use light or electrons. And depending on what technology you use, uh, we, we get that kind of microscopes. Once you are able to maneuver this nano, the properties of nano, nano materials or nano particles or nano uh, tools, you can use it in different technologies. It's, it's almost everywhere, like in medicine, electronics, food, battery space. The list is long. Everywhere you see, you can have some or the other usage of uh, nano-enabled technology, like nanoscience-enabled technology uh, products. Uh, I will so, uh, in the later slides, we'll show some examples. Uh, like uh, there are uh, consumer products currently, uh, like uh, several consumer products coming, uh, coming uh, each day. There are, Nanomaterials have been incorporated into cosmetics, clothing, personal care. So we'll see some more exa some examples in detail. So one of the examples is sunscreen. So sunscreen is anything which you apply on your apply on your body and it protects you from uh, sun rays or any uh, harmful radiation. So the way it works is like you have a uh, sun has like U V A B and U rays and which damage damages your skin. So our skin has different layers. So we put uh, the sunscreen, and uh, suppose we have put a layer of nanoparticles, and then it protects, it absorbs the the UV radiation from the sun, or it can, it, or it will reflect. 